This is amazing. Now we have Autogen custom tools. You are able to create your own tool and able to integrate that with Autogen. The tool could be your own API, own software. In this, I'm going to show you how to create custom tool, how to integrate that with Autogen, test the tool, and finally, how we can integrate that with Olamo. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Autogen custom tools. In this, we are going to create a circumference tool, user inbuilt read file tool, set up LLM configuration, create user agent and create circumference agent. The user agent is going to ask to perform a task to the circumference agent to find the circumference. We are going to use Langchain to create these tools. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, Conda create a hyphen and autogen Python equals 3.11 and then click enter. Conda is used to create a virtual environment. So each of our projects will work in isolation and it won't disturb another project. Next, Conda activate autogen and then click enter. Now pip install pi autogen langchain langchain community and then click enter. Now it's getting installed. Now let's export OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. Now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. First, we are going to import math, then OS, optional and type, chat open AI, base model field, base tool, a read file tool. This is the inbuilt Langchain tool. And finally, Autogen. As we can see here, first step is to create a custom tool, which is the circumference tool. This is a simple example, but you can extend this from here. So step number one, creating circumference tool. We are defining the number of fields, only one field, that is a radius. Next, circumference tool. We are providing the name, the description. Use this tool when you need to calculate a circumference. Then the schema. Schema is nothing but the field, that is radius. So in the run method, we are going to use that radius and calculate the circumference. That's it, a simple function. Now let's see how we can integrate this with Autogen. So the second step, we are going to create a function called get file path radius. So this will be used by the inbuilt read file tool from Langchain. We are going to read a file called radius.txt. The radius.txt file contains only one line that is 7.81 mm. And we are going to calculate the circumference for this value. It's in the same folder. The third step is to create LLM config. So in this, we are going to create a function called generate LLM config. This will automatically generate the config based on the tools which we are going to provide. So two tools which we are going to provide. The first tool is the read file tool and then the custom tool that is a circumference tool. Next, we are going to construct the LLM config. As you probably know, Autogen, first step is to create LLM config. Second step is to create agents and then make them work together. So I will link the beginners Autogen tutorial in the description below if you want to learn the basics. So we are constructing the LLM config. So it contains two functions. One is generate LLM config. That is a function which is going to create the function definition. And we are providing the two tools. One is the read file tool. And the next one is the custom tool. The main functionality for this generate LLM config is to automatically create the function definition or the schema for the two tools which we are adding here. That's it. Now we have completed the configuration step. The fourth step is to create the user agent and register the tool. As a user agent, this tool will have the capability to execute these two tools. So we need to register two tools to this user proxy agent. So user.register function, and we are providing those two tools here. That's it. So the fourth step for creating the user agent and registering the tool is done. Then the final step is to create the circumference agent. So in this step, we are creating the circumference agent and assigning the LLM config. This LLM config will have those two tools on the schema. In this way, this circumference agent knows there are two tools which exist. One is the read file tool, another one is the circumference tool. And this agent can utilize those tools based on the task the user provides. So the final step, user dot initialize chat and here we are providing what task to perform read the file with the path 
and this is the function. Then calculate the circumference of a circle that has a radius of that file's contents. That's it. So this task is to use two functions or two tools. One is to read the file content, which contains the information about for what value the circumference needs to be calculated. And the second tool is to calculate the circumference. So as a quick overview, we create the circumference tool, define the function to find the path of the file, which is in the current folder. If you keep this file in a separate folder, then you can modify the code here. Next, we are creating the LM config. Fourth, we are creating the user agent and then registering the function or registering the tools. And the final step is to create the circumference agent and initializing the chat. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, pythonapp.py and then click enter. Now it is running and here you can see the function call or the tool call is initialized. First step is reading the file content, which is in this location. And here is the file content. Now the next step is to use the circumference calculator tool. And here we are providing the radius that is 7.81. And then we are calculating the circumference. And here's the final output. The circumference of the circle with the radius of 7.81 mm is approximately 49.07 mm. As simple as that. Now we saw these agents work together to find the final output. Now I'm going to show you how to integrate Olama to this. Make sure you have downloaded Olama from olama.com. Next, Olama pull Llama 2. I'm going to use Llama 2 model. Next, we are going to export the OpenAI model name that is equals Llama 2 and then click enter. Now let's export the OpenAI API base like this and then click enter. Now we are ready to run the code, Python app.py and then click enter. This will automatically use the Llama 2 model, but Llama 2 is a basic model. You might need some advanced function calling capable model for it to work properly. In this way, you are able to integrate any open source large language model with this custom tool of Autogen. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.